Hi, Mumbles! Hello! <laughs> There's more Pokemon news! Somehow we have already started 2020 with more Pokemon fashion. I, we had to talk about this. It was too relevant to our last video we did at the Decade in Review, our other videos that we've done on Pokemon recently. So of course we had to date you with the latest news out of the Pokemon Direct that just happened today. Yeah, it's like they were daring us to talk about these new fashions. They're like, try this, try this on for size. I think there's, there must be someone at Pokemon that's listening. Definitely not to this. But I, in my heart of hearts, our message got out to someone at Pokemon and was like, I heard your challenge of incorporating <laughs> modern, more modern fashion designs. And we're here to come out and say, here you are. We've been listening and we're... <laughs> 2020 here here it is 2020 new fashion trends more specifically one trend i guess and and then another yeah. one is also a trend and i guess so we'll we can get into it i i did want to briefly talk about the fact that we had now have mountaineering gear that is all orange yeah i don't hate it i know that you don't like orange but i i mean I would never wear it, but I can see it being good, like, if you were a mountaineer man. I just, I feel like it would have been better in any other color. I'm glad that yeah. we're getting different terrain outfits. But again, it's like, we spend all this time and money on our fashion, and we get this dorky look and nonsense. Yeah, or we could really just make our own winter outfit, which is actually what I ended up doing. Like when I got to the winter areas of the game, I actually switched my fashion to be more winter appropriate because I didn't nice. want my character to be cold, <laughs> which is I'm so sorry. dumb. But like, no. <laughs> it was part of my immersion, okay? That's totally fine. And they give you all of these options for clothing. So why not like switch it up when you are prompted by it by the game, you know? Exactly. But anyways, I wanted to throw that out there. You know, like I don't want to go into it. It's what it is. Let's talk about the good. Let's talk about the good things. Okay. We have Clara, who has already become a pretty big success on the scene you know, when the fan art comes out, you know it's popular. Yeah. And she's rocking a lot of the fashion stuff that we really like to see in Pokemon. Yeah, it was really cool. I woke up this morning and I saw that she was wearing the teddy bear jacket that I was talking about in the last podcast. So it's super exciting to see that here. She has the poofy jacket. I love that the zipper even has a little bow if you look really close. Oh, it's got my God. Got little bow accessories. And then I believe she has like a bow ring. It's hard to tell, but I assume it matches. And then the bracelet kind of pulls it all together, too. What I like about this is, is she softens the very harsh look of the uniform because I guess yeah. I, this is poison. And another thing that's really cool is that I looked at I did I saw a little tweet that said that her number 881 if in Japanese that the sound when you say it is dangerous but it also oh. relates to gal fashion and gairu fa gairu am I pronouncing that right gairu fashion that it's a term like, yeah. like that that dangerous look so the fashion word and the element of the Pokemon is incorporated oh into the, into her number, which is oh, such an interesting detail. Oh, I love that. Yeah, I, everything about this outfit I dig because I think that the poison jersey is the most interesting out of all of the different types of jerseys that you see in the game. It's my favorite personally, even though I don't have a poison Pokemon. I'm like, I need to wear that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> Um, it has like a, almost like a Harley Quinn uh, element to it because it's not completely symmetrical. So I love the little bows on her ankles. We were talking about how I didn't really like the floaties on the ankles, but for her, I think the bows work. And I also love uh, the bow that she's wearing in her hair is like a really dangerous bug, basically. <laughs> it looks like a dangerous butterfly or something is that pattern this... from a specific pokemon no but i saw a tweet that maybe there was another pokemon trainer who was wearing a kimono that was similar 
that oh, has a I did see kind that. of butterfly thing. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, I just, I love this idea of her being the poison trainer and having the soft jacket and the pink hair and that kind of thing. And then also having this like side of danger to her own outfit. So it has this like intoxicating kind of trickiness to it. There, you always run into an issue when you have ankle straps. Yeah. And the main issue is that when you don't have long legs, well, to any leg, it cuts off the length based on like right. imagery and lines and things like that. You know, no one in Pokemon is particularly tall except for Raihan, who's like giant. <laughs> I She seems very short. So I'm never, I'm always kind of like meh when I see ankle straps, although I feel like in the video game world, you kind of ascend that, which is why it's kind of nice to see. Um, yeah. The bows are kind of giant, but I still think it goes with everything. That is very Lolita. I actually, um, I don't know if you know this, but I, I was very into Lolita fashion. I had like yeah. a huge collection and I still have some of my pieces, but I used to go to like meetups and like cafes and stuff. Oh, wow. Yeah, I was pretty hardcore into it. And I actually have platform sh white shoes that are exactly right. like this with the ankle strap and the bow attached to it. Not exactly the same, but they're, they reminded me of them exactly. Totally. So. The platform shoes are so Lolita and also just um, the giant bow. Like that's a yeah. huge thing in Lolita. Um, yeah. I also like that her bangs create a shadow over her eyes. That's very like. Oh, I didn't notice that. Yeah, yeah. that's cool. <laughs> yeah. So I like that she is so cute, but also so dangerous. And you can just tell that by looking at the way that she dresses. Yeah, I love her. And unfortunately, she's in Sword, and that's not the version I have. Me either. So it's Fuck. like, cool. But you know what we do get <laughs> is Avery. And oh. I and this is like the character that basically, like, I was really excited about Clara, but I'm like, it's Avery that made me say, okay, like, this is worthy of a video. When I need to bring in Mumbles yeah. as well, I believe. <laughs> because... I I don't I, there, see I like the idea of having a sort of weird girl like a Luna Lovegood type. I'm assuming sure. Avery is is like female here. I'm not sure, but that's like my guess based on just the name, I guess, and the hair length. And I'm sorry if they're like they maybe they're non-binary, maybe they're male. I don't know. The issue I have is that. We have the first of all, I hate top hats. I could go into a whole rant about how I like I don't like them at all. I especially hate them when they are not worn with an entire formal outfit that warrants yeah. a top hat, which is very rare. Like you just I just think like there's never an occasion. And I hate that it's become this thing of this like a smarmy person will wear an overly formal hat that does not go with the rest of their outfit. And it's become this weird yeah. stereotype of that I hate because I yeah. wish people were able to experiment in fashion, but it, it's kind of almost been ruined, kind of like the fedora or like the trilby. It's like ironic. Right. To the point where you don't want to see it. Yeah. yeah. And like, like, so... Along with that is just like the horrid colors of the uniform. Like it's already tough enough in this game where you see the characters trying to like jush up their uniforms. And in here, the ruffle out of nowhere. Oh, God. Is a huge issue for me. And I then yeah. the Lolita socks that don't really go with the rest go of the with look. It. Don't fucking. Oh, OK, yeah, that's what got me. At first, I was like, "Okay, it's like Grateful Dead, I guess." Like that. Was I don't know what that is. Kidding. Okay, the Grateful Dead are a hippie psychedelic band. Oh, okay, so you're getting that from the unit, the uniform, right? But they also are fucking weird, and the people who love Grateful Dead are also kind of weird. And I can say that because I like the Grateful Dead. So the impression I was getting was like a 1960s Grateful Dead fan who wanted to experiment with fucking steampunk, right? So that's the top half of the outfit. I'm like, all right, I get it. The long hair, long hippie hair, that works. 
the psychedelic colors, the top hat, the weird ascot, whatever. And what but about the armband, the sweatband? That's okay. Yeah, okay. that's another thing. <laughs> that's like, okay, that doesn't fit. But anyway, so fucking I'm like, okay, okay, okay. And then I get down to the socks and the shoes and I'm like, that doesn't, that's a completely different thing. It's not like you're taking like, I like top hats and the Grateful Dead. It's the 1960s. It's, I like top hats and the Grateful Dead. And I guess I'm also an athlete. So I have a sweatband on my wrist and also it's Japan. So Lolita socks, it just like, it doesn't, it's too much. There's too much of everything in it. So in Lolita, there is like a boy version to it. So first of all, there's a few issues. The ruffles are too long for like the boy version. That's more of the feminine look. You see it. You see the influence by the way the shorts are cut. So that's not like an athletic cut. Those are like high waisted shorts. In the Lolita situation, you would have like schoolboy. Like it's like a schoolboy Victorian Uh, style, but it's more like androgynous. But oh. but it's not pulled together enough because like the shoes are right, but the socks aren't. And the ruffle definitely isn't because it just clashes completely with the uniform and definitely not the top hat and definitely uh, I, not the hair like that. Like the hair yeah. should be up. You don't wear oh, your I hair know. down with a top hat. If you are ath- if you are athletic, you're not going to be having your hair down like that in any in any form, right? And so it's this weird combination of them saying like, ow, eerie, why? Oh, sorry, it's my cat. Um, it's this weird combination of like, I want to show that they're athletes, but also they're so quirky. Oh man, they wear top hats to their matches and it doesn't work. And you won't see something like this in pro wrestling. That's what I kept thinking is like, pro wrestlers wear crazy shit all the time, but you would never see something like this. Because it's it doesn't match anything. It doesn't. Con- it's not concise enough. You can't look at it and immediately go, "I get what this person is all about." I look at her, and I'm more confused every time I look at her. Like I, I still don't really get her vibe. There's no like message. Like I, no. I understand, and that's the issue with quirky is it doesn't really mean anything. Like it's a kind of this empty word. Right. So you exactly. kind of say quirky because it's a mismatch of like various ideas that are not quite put together in the right way. What they should have done is put her in almost like a suit and just forego the fucking. It also should be a bow tie. Oh, yeah. Bow tie, suit, maybe suspenders to show off the shorts. That's what I was thinking is like, if you want to say that they're schoolboy shorts from like Victoria era, you need like suspenders to like show that's what you're going for. But it's difficult because they obviously want to keep the jerseys. So if you're if you're intent on keeping the jerseys, can you make that into a skirt? Maybe you could definitely be like, I mean, you could make it into a bloomer type. Yeah. Take away the socks. Longer pants or like bloomers or something get rid of that ascot it's fucking stupid get rid of the sweatband on the wrist give her two gloves is the other glove white are you fucking kidding me the other glove's white the other glove's white it's not okay it's so stupid make both gloves purple decrease the size of the hat decrease the size of her hair to fix it yeah there's a lot i just i don't even want to be an editor I just like I, I did. I did send you a few pictures of just like, oh yeah, that's the kind of look. Oh, they missed the mark by so much. There they're, is a lot they could have done. She's not wearing waiters. Like those look like um, like just waiters. You know, they're not. She's not wearing anything like that. No. It, yeah. I don't know. They should have either decided we want her to look long and elegant, or we want her to look sporty. You know, like you can't have both. It's the issue that keeps coming up with this weird esports uniform style of this yeah, game. Exactly. Like, I mean, it's possible. Like, look at Clara. She did it. Yeah, she did it. But then because- they made more uniforms more ugly than others, I think. Like, this is the psychic one. The psychic is one of the ugliest for sure. That's and not so fair. You- 
you have to be married to that like that sucks that sucks a it lot it really does it doesn't work it doesn't work <laughs>